Well, praise the Lord. It's such a blessing that you have joined me today. I want to share with you just uh, a brief message, things that God has taught me about living life while I am yet alive. But I would like to first take um, a moment and read a scripture from the Bible, and then I want to uh, talk a little about it based on what God spoke to me and what he has taught me about living and being alive. And that scripture is taken from Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter, and the fourth verse. And the scripture says, For unto him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Wow. God began to help me to understand something very powerful from just uh, that particular uh, scripture. Prior to me reading that, God had already begun to teach me about learning how to uh, take charge of my life. Now, we know that we live in a very complex world, and it's something going on all the time. If it's not the health, it's maybe the family. If it's not the family, it may be financial. You know, it's a lot of things that we have to uh, uh, deal with on a daily basis. And I'm trying to figure out, Lord, I love you, and I I want to live, do what you call me to do, but just sometimes it's just hard. It's just very frustrating. And just opening myself up and talking to the Lord and asking him to help me to navigate. And the Lord just began to just begin to drop some things in my in my spirit. And I wanted to use that particular verse to back up what the Lord really said to me. He says, Deborah, if you are alive, you must learn to focus and learn how to thank me and how to be appreciative for just being alive. Now, we already know being alive and having all the other things going on with it, that's a lot of things come along with being alive. But God is beginning to teach me how I can enjoy being alive in the midst of all the other things that's going on with my life while I am alive. And he began to teach me this. First he said to me, Deborah, stop bringing tomorrow into your today. Okay, he he said that to me. And I'm trying to um, understand what he's trying to tell me. He said, your problem is you're always bringing tomorrow into your today. And, and, and what he was really trying to show me as time went on by, he was teaching me how to live in the present moment. How to live in the very present moment. How to not to think about oh, what's going to happen, or have my mind focus on what happened yesterday or even what happened earlier today. If I could just learn to to focus in the present, learn how to live in the present. No, I'm not denying what has happened. No, I'm not. But I must focus on what is happening right now, even as you're listening to me, there's such an honor that I'm alive because when I'm alive, I can speak. If I'm alive, that's all that matters. It will take care, everything else will take care of itself. But 
if I'm alive and trying to take care of something that is not even at hand yet or trying to take care of something that has happened already, it only messes my present moment. In other words, I want you to start focusing and realize that all you have is right now. That's all we have. Now, we surely, we, we're, we're hoping for tomorrow, and I'm sure we can think about a lot of things that occurred yesterday or in our past that was not so pleasant. And we're not saying be in denial, but what I am saying, don't allow that that has been to mess up what is. What is is a beautiful thing. It is now. Life is now. Your happiness must be now. You cannot no longer say, I'm going to be happy when. When I'm going to be happy when I get over the fact that I went through a divorce. No, it's, it has been. It's over, and I must learn how to be happy now. Now, I must tell you, I've experienced divorce. What did I do? Sure, it's a very painful thing. It's a, it's, it's, it's a hard place. But I must realize that that was then and this is now, which means I have survived that to tell the story. Now, if you ever heard the scriptures and the story about Job, you know, I think we've all heard about Job and how he had all his dilemmas. But if you notice, every time there was a disaster that happened in Job's life, there was only one person survived to tell the story. And I love to talk about that. And I wanted to say right now, even as you're listening to me, we are the people that survive so that we may be able to tell the story. So when we focus on the fact that, but I'm still alive, and when I start focusing that I'm still alive, not that what I, oh, I went through this, I had a problem with this, but when I focus on, my God, but I'm still alive, that the scripture there in Ecclesiastes says, even a live dog is better than a dead lion. And we know the lion is the, is the king of the jungle. He rules the jungle. But guess what? If he's dead, he's no more. So what we want to focus on, stop focusing on what is not. It's no more. If it happened two hours ago, it, that's gone. It's over. And I must learn to focus on the very present moment. And how do I focus on the present, present moment is when I began to look around wherever I'm at, looking at my hands, looking at my feet, looking at the beauty around me, whether it may be a light, it may be a flower, it may just be the, 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 the colors on the wall. When I start focusing on those things, now I'm feeling so great because I'm, I'm alive to be able to see that. I'm alive to be able to witness that. And I just want to help all of us to understand we must learn how to live in the present, the present moment. Even when we talk about being with the Lord, we want to be in his what? In his present. No, I don't want to be in his yesterday. I, don't, I can't be in his tomorrow in his future. And I know we, a lot of us, we living here on the earth and we trying to live in heaven while we on the earth. We want, we, we living in earth with, our, with heaven on our minds and we focusing on heaven. And uh, I know we've been taught that. And that's why sometimes our present state is in such a disarray because we're not embracing where we are right now. And even Right now, if your situation is not what you would like for it to be or what you want it to be, it's okay. Just embrace it. When you fight it, 
when you resist your present moment, all you do is bring about chaos, confusion, discomfort in your own self. So I believe the Lord wants to teach us how to be at peace and teach us how to govern our lives so we don't have to incur all the pain and the suffering, because a lot of that, we're bringing it upon ourselves. When I look back and I think about the hardship, if I start thinking about the hardships that I had in my early adults, I'm telling you, I would start feeling so miserable right now. As a matter of fact, my husband and I, we were on a Alaskan cruise. Oh, my God, I had been waiting for this cruise for so long. And one morning I got up and I went out to take my morning walk. And as I was walking, all of a sudden I start just thinking on all the things that I had to do when I get back home and what needed to be done. And here I am on a beautiful cruise, but yet my mind was thinking on things that I had to do when I got, got back home or what I didn't do. And I immediately I heard the Lord say to me, Deborah, what are you doing? He said, Deborah, get out of your head and live out of your heart. And momentarily, I just kind of shifted my thoughts, got all of that out of my, my thoughts, and I brought my thoughts into my heart. And as I began to live out of my heart, all of a sudden I began to look at the water, and the waters were so beautiful. I began to look at the different nationalities of people. And I'm telling you, some was tall, some was short, some was thick, some was thin, some had black hair, some had red hair, some had blonde hair. And all of a sudden, I began to feel the beauty that was all around me. And I began to connect with that beauty. And oh my God, that was such a sensation in my spirit, in my heart, in my mind, and I, there was a joy that came over me that I could not even explain. And that's when God started teaching me. It's all about the present moment. Look around you. See what you have. See what you are in the midst of. Understand it's a, such a blessing to be alive. And when we start focusing on just being alive versus focusing on all the stuff that's around us that's not going well, we will begin to find a place of peace and comfort and knowing, as that scripture says, if we are among the living, there is hope, which means that, guess what, whatever is not all right, it will be all right. And we must understand that now, the present moment, it is all we have. It is one of the most precious things that we will ever have. And you say, well, why is it? Because that is all that I have. It's right now. Now, I hope in the next hour I can be doing uh, something, maybe going to the grocery store uh, maybe uh, cooking my dinner, or maybe uh, later on tonight watching a movie, but I don't have that yet. I must enjoy what I already have. And most time, because of the way we've been taught, we're always thinking about being somewhere else or being something else. And I'm sure there's always room to improve ourselves, but if we learn to embrace where we are, what we are right now, and just enjoy it, the Bible said as we go, he will continue to add to our lives. And if we're living in one house and we're always complaining because we want to live in another house, you know what, you just be miserable. It's just going to bring on a lot of uh, depression and, and, and feelings that are not good. But when you embrace the fact, you know what, I love this place right now, 
and I'm so grateful for where I'm at, what I have right now, and just begin to see the beauty and the blessings in it. And you will begin to feel wonderful. You will begin to feel blessed. And before you know it, you'll be walking into that place where you have always desired to walk in. But it must be about embracing your now. And uh, when we talk about the present, nothing, nothing can ever happen in in the past. You said, well, Miss Deborah, I, something happened to me in the past. But guess what? When it happened to you, it was now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. When it happened to you then, it was now. And nothing will happen in the future. It's nothing can happen in the future because guess what? When I get to tomorrow, what tomorrow going to be? Tomorrow will not be tomorrow. It will be today. And when we pray, we often pray, Lord, give us this day our daily bread. Lord, give it to me for this day. But some reason we into this system that we've been uh, this this culture of living. It's always have us focusing on where we are not versus where we are. And when we we deny when we deny where we are, we only bring pain and affliction to ourselves. We afflict our emotions, make us feel bad make us feel unworthy, make us feel uh, uh, that we're not able to accomplish. But when you began to embrace and honor your present moment, because I believe when we refuse to honor where we are, it's like a dishonor to God himself. We must learn to appreciate our present moment. And again, nothing will ever happen in the past. Anything that happened, it it's always happening now. And we must begin to embrace that. And I believe when we start living with that mindset, realizing that I must think on what I'm doing right now, right now. And even when we think about negativity, uh, all the negativity and all the uh, uh, bad feelings that we have throughout our day, throughout our life, the pain. And, and I believe it's accumulation of, of denying where we are right now. And, and when we speak of that, it's like being uneased and anxiety, tension, you know, the stress, the worrying. And when we go through all of that, let me tell you what it is. It's because there's too much of the future. See, the future, when we start thinking that our minds are always on the future, it's always fear. What's going to happen? What might happen? We can't even rest. We can't even enjoy our now. We're messing up our present moment trying to step into the future. And then when we have too much of our past, when we're focusing too much on our past, that's when we feel the guilt, the shame, you know, uh, bitterness, resentment. And all of that is because we're focusing too much on the past and we're not focusing on the present. Anytime you're feeling any kind of way other than happy, ask yourself, what am I thinking about? What is on my mind? And I guarantee you it will be something that has happened already that you cannot do anything about, or you got your mind on something that you think may be happening and you cannot control that. So what we got to do, keep life simple. God is trying to train us how to navigate in the world in which we're living in right now. 
And I want to encourage you, don't worry about tomorrow. Come away from yesterday. And let's just live in the very present moment. When we live in the present moment, we'll find that peace. We'll find that joy. We'll find that happiness that we have longed for, that peace that surpasses all understanding. And it's right now, and it's in the present moment. God bless you. And I want to thank you for taking a moment to listen to just words of wisdom, words of peace. And what I have found, I would love to share it with you. Learning how to live in a very complex world, but yet I'm at in a place of peace in a place of serenity because I'm learning to appreciate the fact that I am still alive. And if I'm still alive, I know now at any moment things can change. If I'm dealing with any situation that's not so pleasant, I don't focus on the situation. I'm learning to focus on the fact that I'm alive to even see the situation. And I thank God that he's given me the ability and teaching me how to overcome the situation by living in the present. God bless you, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.